Hey everyone, I'm back with another video. So this video is going to be a speed test between the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the Nose Alpha. So now you might be wondering why am I comparing these two phones when they are a completely different price range. This is an $800 flagship phone. This is a budget device that costs like 180 bucks. So it shouldn't be a fair fight. But the reason I'm comparing is because I've been using the Mace Alpha for the last few days again. And this phone is growing on me more and more. I know I already reviewed this phone, but I like this phone more than I did a week ago. It's amazing to me that for 180 bucks, I get an almost bezel-less, beautiful, gorgeous screen. 1080p screen with battery life that's really good and software. It's not, it's pretty smooth. Even though this phone has a Helio P25 chip, I don't find it that much slower than the Samsung Galaxy S8, which has a Snapdragon 835. So um, I thought I might as well put it to the test. I'm pretty sure the Samsung Galaxy S8 will be a little bit faster, but I think it depends on the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I've written down what I'm going to do. So I'm going to open a series of apps and do all that jumping around shit. I'm going to open Instagram, scroll through two stories, open Gmail, read a brand new email. Open Facebook, go to my profile. Open YouTube, search for a new video that I haven't searched for before. So probably something like, I don't know, like really mysterious or like Red Zeppelin. And then jump back and forth between YouTube and Facebook. Bring up multitask, uh, bring up the recent apps, and then go back to Instagram to see if the story is still playing, like, and still having to refresh. And then install a new app on Google Play. So I would do it on one phone and do it on the other and I would time it and stop it. I know that's not the most scientific way because obviously I might not have the exact same, you know, finger speed at each time, but I think it will be close enough and I will also do a side-by-side -side comparison and just be able to that. I'll also speed up this video as I begin testing so that you don't have to sit there for six minutes watching me, you know, click the apps because that could be really cool. So, uh, both phones are running Nova Launcher, so I think that's a pretty fair fight to have them run the same software. Both phones have cleared all the apps. They're both connected to the same Wi-Fi. I don't know why can we have it in so... Okay, I'll start with the Samsung phone. Okay, so here... Let me put this here so I don't forget. One minute and ten seconds. Okay. So now let me uninstall that app so I can install that exact same app. Okay, so I'm gonna uninstall it so that I can install it on this phone over here. Okay. So I came in around a minute and 10 seconds, the Samsung Galaxy S8. So now let's do the same thing with the Maze Alpha. Okay, so let's wipe this clock. Okay. Ready, set, go. It finished installing in a minute and six seconds. Now again, I can see that it's not the most scientific test because when I was scrolling through the Instagram stories, I might have lingered on one longer. But this is just to prove my point that the two phones, despite the price difference and despite the difference in chipset, really isn't that that different Like in terms of just speed, overall real life use. We are so hung up on getting the most powerful processor but in reality if you're at an average joe just using your phone to take photos go on facebook write emails you know like shit like that you can use a mid-tier device with a snapdragon 625 or a helio p25 and it'll probably give you the same performance as the snapdragon 835 unless you're like playing heavy games or something 
So I'm going to do another side by side on scientific test. Just jumping in and out. Oh, absolutely great. Just to show you again the side by side difference. So. Okay, so you see it's it's really the speed, it's almost exactly the same. The Samsung Galaxy S8 is actually lost the speed test contest, but I think overall this is a little bit faster, a little bit. But you know, this one's 800 bucks. This is $200. The Maze Alpha is, it's excellent. I'm blown away. Um, congrats or kudos to Maze because this is much better than the Doogie Mix. Thanks for watching.